everybody, today I would like to introduce you this cool product called the Alpha 8 Translator Pen. For its first impression, this pen is very sleek and lightweight. You are able to hold it like a pen in your hand. Comes with a springy tip at the end here. This is where the scanner is. And this springy tip allows you to intuitively use the device so that you know that you are scanning text. Setting up the device for use is actually very simple. So when you power it up, screen shows up. You notice that the OS uh, is in Chinese, but actually it doesn't really matter because uh, the device is so easy to use. Okay, to go to settings, you just need to scroll all the way to the settings menu. Read here as 设置, tap inside. No. First of all, you need to set up the Wi-Fi. Basically, you just have to tap inside and select the uh, Wi-Fi that you want to connect to and key the password straight on the screen. Okay. Once you have connected to the Wi-Fi, the symbol here will actually show up and that means you're connected to the internet. Then, next thing in the menu is 多行扫描. This will allow you to scan multiple lines. To scan multiple lines, all you need to do is to lift up the pen Within 2 seconds, scan the next line, okay, and that will actually uh, take the text as the input. Then we have the volume setting, brightness setting, far in zi. Now, this is a very interesting uh, capability. The device is programmed to be able to read both the American pronunciation and the British pronunciation. So if you want to actually, uh, if you prefer the American pronunciation, you can tap Shi over here. If you want the British pronunciation, you tap Shi. Sun Shi is what we'll go through later. We'll, we'll go through the uh, simpler settings first. Wobi Fang Xiang. Depending on the user, whether he or she is a right-hander or left-hander, you can set it up accordingly. So currently, this pen is set up for a right-hander. Okay, now, if your child is a left-hander, you just need to switch it to 左手握笔. Notice that the uh, screen will actually flip, so that it will allow the left-hander to use. Okay, let me switch it back to the right-hander. Okay, it's uh, for the device to actually search for a new software update. If there's an update, the uh, software will be pushed to the device uh, as long as it's connected to the internet. Now, Bang Ping here originally is designed to allow the parent to link the handphone to the device, but it only works in mainland China. But to be honest, uh, this function is not really that necessary. So I mentioned that I'll come back to explain more about this setting, which is here, the one with the magnifying glass. Sun Shi. Now Sun Shi prioritizes how the user wants the search to be displayed upon scanning the text. So you're able to set the options for two scenarios when scanning Chinese text or English text. For users who are mainly English speaking and learning Chinese, these settings will be the most useful. So let me just tap in. Under this scenario, 扫描中文, which means if you are to scan Chinese text, set it to this option. Let me just uh, count for you. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? This option is the uh, Han Ying Fan Yi. Okay, so upon scanning the Chinese text, what will be displayed as priority will be the English translation. If I were to scroll down further, Sao Miao Ying Wen, which means if you were to scan English text, choose this option. Ta Xin Ying Han Si Dian. So these are the two options that you just have to pick and yep, the device will be good to go. 
Let us see what the Alpha 8 device is capable of. I have with me here a list of Chinese characters and terms that's recommended for primary 3 level. Okay, now I'll pick up the device. Okay, you notice first of all that uh, I have turned off the Wi-Fi of the device. Basically, I want to showcase to you that you do not need to have the internet connection all the time to use it. Okay, especially for scanning, uh, it's able to recognize the characters, give the explanation as well as do the translation even without internet. This is because there is already a big database inbuilt into the system. Okay, let us showcase to you now. So I'm going to scan this word over here. You can see how fast it's able to do the search, right? If you want to make the device read out the character again, you just need to press on the speaker symbol. And it will show you the explanation in English, what the character means. Okay, because we prioritize the explanation and translation to English as the first results we want to see, so this is the first thing you see. Okay. If you want to see more details available, you just need to touch on the uh, this blue words over here. Ta kan xiang qing. Okay, so if there's more available explanation, it will display it for you. If you scroll down, you get more details. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, it will display to you how to write the character in the proper strokes. Let us try scanning multiple character words. Let's begin with this one. Okay, it manages to read out the word as it should. If you did not catch uh, what was previously read, you can just click here to repeat it or if you want to know how individual character sounds you can just click on the individual yeah. character okay it also provides you with the uh, english translation of the word you can see desire wish if you want to go into see all the uh, different usage of the word you can go into details there you go. Right, you continue scrolling down. This will teach you what the different usage of the word and how to use it. It also provides the explanation in Chinese. And over here, it also lists the uh, different words that has more or less the same meaning as the one that you scan. So it acts like a thesaurus as well. It also teaches you how to actually use the words in sentence construction. So here are a few examples. Okay, now that we have seen what the Alpha 8 does when we scan individual characters or multiple character terms, what if we were to scan a sentence? So I prepared an example over here. Okay, it manages to identify the whole sentence and read out accordingly. So if you want to see the Chinese characters, all you need to do is to scroll the top row and you can also get it to read the uh, different characters in the sentence itself. Now if you want this uh, device to translate that sentence into English, what you need to do is to click on this symbol. It's called E1. My wish is to be a scientist. There you go. So it's able to read sentence in Chinese as it's been scanned and 
read out the translation as well. So far we've seen how the alpha egg operates when you scan Chinese text. So right now, we will demonstrate how it operates when you scan English text. So for example, uh, if let's say you are not very sure of the Chinese term of uh, scientist and you want this to translate for you, so what you do is scan the word scientist. Okay, and here you go, you have the uh, Chinese translation, Kershia Tia over here. Okay, if you tap into the details, right, it will also show you the different usage of the word, like what's the uh, Chinese term for social scientist, rocket scientist, political scientist. Okay, right now we'll try to scan this English sentence. Einstein is one of the most famous scientists in the world. Einstein is one of the most famous scientists in the world. Okay, if you want to know how the translation sound. Okay, this is translated in proper sentence structure and even gives you the uh, actual name of uh, Einstein in Chinese. So far, we have seen how the alpha egg is able to take in your inquiry by scanning text. The alpha egg is also able to take in verbal inquiry. But before you do that, you have to ensure that there's internet connection because the voice recognition is actually carried out in the device cloud server. To make the inquiry, you have to press and hold this action button here. This is where the microphone of the device is located. Make sure it's uh, unobstructed so they can hear you. Okay, so we showcase you some of the examples that you can actually do via voice inquiry. In our first example, we commonly run into scenarios whereby we know how to say the Chinese term, but we may not know how to write one of the characters in the term itself. So what do we do? Okay, we can actually use the voice inquiry to help us on that. Let's say we use the example 科学, once again, 科学 meaning science. Okay, you know how to write 学, but you don't know how to write 科, so what do you do? All you have to do is to press and hold the button and say the following. 科学的科怎么写? 科 And there you go. It will display how to write the character in the correct form. Another thing that is useful that you can get out of voice inquiry is to get the Chinese translation when you say the English word into the device. Let's use a few examples. Hippopotamus Herma. So the device is able to read Herma which is the Chinese translation of uh, hippopotamus and you can see how it's written here. Maybe use another example. Radio. Here you go again. Other than that, we can also say a sentence in, in English and get the Chinese translation out of it. My mother loves yoga. Here you go. Of course, Alpha 8 is a two-way translator. So if you come across a Chinese term and you're not familiar with it and you want it to be translated to English, you can just simply say the Chinese term into the device. Let me just show it to you. Tang Jing Lu Fan Yi. Alright. So make sure you say the Chinese term followed by Fan Yi so that it knows that you want to get it translated to English. Let's try something else. This time round, we will say an idiom or cheng yu. Bai fa bai zhong fan yi. It is used to describe that one has a good command of. Okay, one more example. Yuan wang fan yi. All right. Now, if you decide to be a purist, a language purist, and you want the Chinese term to be explained in Chinese, it can be done as well. So let us go back and use uh, some similar examples. Yuan Wang, 意思. 
，希望能达到某种目的的心愿。Okay, so we explain the term Yuan Wang in Chinese this time round. And last but not least, if your kid is always stressed about this、uh, language exercise called the Zhao Ji. Well, this device is also able to give you examples of how to do、uh, sentence construction with the terms. Let's use back the term Yuan Wang again. Yuan Wang, Zhao Ji. 最后一篇日记是他用已经冻伤的手指哆哆嗦嗦写下的愿望。请把这本日记送到我的妻子手中。Yeah, it's、uh, quite a,、uh, it's quite long for Zhao Ji. But、uh, you know, it will just showcase you how you can use the term. Do not be mistaken that this device is only capable of basic level language processing. As we shall see now, I have just downloaded and printed this、uh, article from Financial Times. It's actually a market report. Let's see if、uh, this thing here is able to translate the article in Chinese. We shall just scan these two paragraphs here. Chinese translation. 全球股市在经历了十一月以来表现最好的一周后，周一下跌。而随着全球冠状病毒疫情恶化，美元收复失地，华尔街基准的标准普尔五百指数下跌了百分之零点七，而以科技股为主的纳斯达克综合指数下跌了百分之一点三。I think this device, even the finance professionals, will find it useful. So、have with me a legal business contract document that is written in Chinese. Now let's see whether this device is useful for interpreting. Let's scan this sentence over here. Translation to English. If the supply price set by party A has to be adjusted due to inflation or other objective reasons, party A shall notify party B fifteen days in advance and coordinate the interests of both parties. I think we have demonstrated many functions that is very useful for our daily learning and even for our professional daily life.、Um, However, I must say that、uh, what we have just shown you is just a scratch on the surface. This device here, as you explore more, is、uh, capable of、uh, doing much more. So thank you for watching. I shall leave you with、uh, Alpha Eight over here as it recites a very familiar poem to some of you. Jing Ye Si. 望。